Knock three times to reveal these secrets about now and then. Make a pact to read every secret about now and then in honor of the 1995 coming-of-age classics anniversary. Whenever you need a friend, the film starring Christina Ricci and Thora Birch is here. Knock three times on the ceiling if you are still obsessed with now and then. Nearly three decades ago, one of the most definitive movies about female friendship made its debut in theaters. Yes, we're obviously talking about now and then. Yes, you may be feeling old AF right now. And yes, you should absolutely stop whatever you are doing and immediately rewatch it right now. The Coming of Age Tale, directed by Leslie Linka Gladder and written by Pretty Little Liars showrunner Marlene King, centers on four young friends, all living in the same small Indiana neighborhood, played by Gabby Hoffman, Christina Ricci, Thora Birch, and Ashley Aston Moore, who tragically died of an accidental heroin overdose in 2007. Throughout the cult classic, set in the summer of 1970, the teens experience love and loss in a way that will change them. Plus, Fast Forward and Demi Moore, Rosie O'Donnell, Melanie Griffith, and Rita Wilson play the characters as adults, reuniting for a milestone event and proving friendship really is forever. Though Birch joked to us weekly in 2022 that there were some very sisterly squabbles during filming, we were all 12 to 14 years old when we were making that film. And if anybody knows anything about 12 to 14-year-old girls, it doesn't go well. Their bond has endured. I love those ladies so much, she said. And you know, I think we all played our roles perfectly. Who says you can't go home again? And with just a year to go until the film's milestone 30th birthday, we're paying our respects with these behind-the-scenes secrets you might not know about now and then, including which role Leonardo DiCaprio initially snagged and which star was the one to get with. Their words, not ours, Devin Sawa, A.K. Scott Wormer. 1. Marlene King wrote the movie when she was 10 years old and said it was about her group of friends growing up. This really was my childhood. I had some best friends. We did seances in the graveyard. We loved a good mystery, King said during a Q&A at a 20th anniversary screening of the movie in 2015. And my parents were also getting divorced at that time. It really was a true-to-life thing for me. Samantha was based on her sister, Sandra, and King joked she herself was everyone but Chrissy. 2. The four younger versions of the girls were cast first and began with Christina Ricci landing the part of Roberta. For the final week of filming in Savannah, the adult counterparts were brought in. King revealed that Demi Moore, who played Samantha and was a producer on the film, Rosie O'Donnell, Roberta, Melanie Griffith, Teeny, and Rita Wilson, Chrissy, watched footage of the girls' performances to inform their own takes on the characters. 3. The two incarnations of the quartet were never on set at the same time. 4. While she eventually agreed to play the older version of Roberta, it took a lot of effort from producer Jennifer Todd and more to convince O'Donnell to sign on. We really wanted Rosie and Rosie really wasn't convinced she wanted to do it and we went on this crazy adventure, Todd said, explaining she and more went to New York to see O'Donnell in Greece on Broadway in an attempt to woo her. We did that rude, pushy thing where we went backstage afterwards and were like, hi, can we take you to dinner? 5. Thora Birch revealed that she and her fellow 1970-era leading ladies were as close as sisters, which lead to some arguments on the set. That's how we knew we were close, she said. We were really good at fighting. 6. All four lead girls had a wild crush on Devon Sawa, Birch admitted. But, like, didn't everyone have a thing for the Casper star in the 90s? There was some kind of contest, I remember they said. Get with Devon, Todd revealed. We were like, what does get with mean? 7. While Sawa politely said, no comment, Birch wasn't so tight-lipped, revealing his Casper co-star Ricci won the contest. She got out front and the other girls weren't happy about it, Todd spilled. Said Sawa, I was the only 15-year-old boy with the cast of the hottest young girls in town, so it was a lot of fun. 8. But in an interview with E! News, Sawa credited Ricci with getting him cast as Scott. We got along quite well in the small amount of time I did work on Casper, he explained. She just remembered and recommended me and I put myself on tape and I got it. We hung out a lot during the shoot. 9. Leonardo DiCaprio was originally set to play the role of the Vietnam War veteran the girls meet on their bike adventure, but he dropped out at the last minute. It was a big deal because we had to get someone on a plane pretty quickly to come down, Todd said during the 2015 screening Q&A, and...